This presentation is a production of the Animal Science Department at Purdue University. Hello, this is Dr. Alan Bridges, Assistant Professor in the Department of Animal Science at Purdue University and a member of the Purdue Beef Team. Continuing with our video series on reproductive management in beef cattle, today we'll be discussing estrus detection in beef cattle. Estrus, or heat detection efficiency, can greatly impact pregnancy success in an estrus synchronization program. Pregnancy rate is the product of the proportion of animals detected in estrus times conception rate. As this table illustrates, as estrus detection efficiency increases at a constant conception rate, pregnancy rate will also increase. Therefore, poor estrus detection results in poor pregnancy rates. When detecting estrus or heat in beef cattle, remember it's important to observe for estrus at least one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening. Most commonly, cows will exhibit estrus in the early morning hours and just before dark. Several factors can impact the efficiency of estrus detection in a group of beef cows. These include the influence of herd mates, such as social interactions between dominant and submissive cows, and the number of cows in estrus at a given time. Whether the estrus is a synchronized estrus following an estrus synchronization program, or a spontaneous estrus. Environmental temperature can impact the intensity of the estrus or heat period. Breed can impact estrus detection efficiency and the expression of estrus by cows, as can the footing surface and leg and foot problems in the cows. Additionally, nutrition and level of milk production can also influence estrus detection expression in a group of cows. The primary sign of a cow in heat is for her to stand to be mounted by another animal. This is the only sure way to know that this cow is in estrus and is ready to be inseminated. Remember, it is the cow being mounted that is in heat and not the cow that is mounting her. Often cows that are in estrus will congregate into a sexually active group as demonstrated in this video. Prior to behavioral estrus, Cows will often exhibit secondary signs of estrus. Also, cows can exhibit secondary signs of estrus after behavioral estrus. As demonstrated in this video, secondary sign of estrus include increased physical contact between cows, such as resting the chin on another cow, increased uh, headbutting, and circling. Other secondary signs of estrus include females mounting other females. A female which mounts another female indicates this animal may be coming into estrus or may be coming out of estrus. Remember, however, that only the female that stands to be mounted is in standing heat. As demonstrated in this picture, another secondary sign of estrus is clear mucus discharge coming from the vagina. Prior to exhibiting behavioral estrus, cows often have increased activity, such as increased restlessness, increased walking the pasture or lot, and increased bawling. Additionally, due to rising estradiol concentrations, the vulva often swells. Another secondary sign of estrus is dirt on the flanks and a roughed up tail head. These are indications that a cow has been previously mounted. If bloody mucus is observed from the vagina, this indicates that estrus likely occurred two to three days prior to this observation. There are several estrus detection aids available to assist in detecting behavioral estrus in cattle. These include estrus alert patches, as demonstrated on the left-hand side of the slide, bovine beacons and KMARs, and tail paint and tail chalk. These aids serve to indicate when a cow is in estrus. However, it's important to realize that these aids do not compensate for visual observations of cows in estrus. <clears throat> Another estrus detection aid is the HeatWatch Electronic Estrus Detection System. This system involves an electronic relay patch on the tail head of the cow. Thus, when she gets mounted, it sends an electronic signal to a computer indicating the time at which she was mounted and the duration of that mount. So once a cow is observed in behavioral estrus, 
when is the appropriate time to inseminate her. The most common strategy used is referred to as the AM-PM rule. If estrus is observed in the AM, the cow is inseminated the following evening in the PM. If estrus is observed in the evening during the PM hours, the cow is then inseminated the following morning in the AM. Using this AM-PM strategy often yields the most consistent pregnancy rates following estrus detection and AI. This slide depicts the events associated with estrus, ovulation, and fertilization in beef cattle. The duration of behavioral estrus or heat is, averages around 15 hours in a beef cow. However, it can range from 6 hours to 24 hours in some animals. The interval from estrus to ovulation tip, is typically between 2 and 6 hours. From the beginning of estrus until ovulation is typically 27 hours and can range from 24 hours to 32 hours in cows. As will be depicted in the subsequent slide, the best time to breed a cow following her first mount of behavioral estrus is from 4 to 16 hours later after estrus is initially observed. Breeding before this time or after this time period results in reduced pregnancy rates. It is important to remember that the lifespan of the sperm in the cow's reproductive tract is 24 to 30 hours. However, the lifespan of the ovulated oocyte is only 6 to 10 hours. Thus, it is important to have sperm at the site of fertilization and ready for the oocyte, rather than have an oocyte there waiting on the sperm. This graph illustrates conception rates achieved when artificial insemination occurred at various intervals after the onset of estrus. As demonstrated in this study, when insemination occurred between 4 and 16 hours after the onset of estrus, conception rate was similar. However, if insemination occurred prior to 4 hours after the onset of estrus, or after 16 hours after the onset of estrus, conception rates were reduced. Therefore, the optimal time to inseminate cows following the onset of estrus is between 4 and 16 hours later. For additional information on estrus detection, estrus detection aid, and artificial insemination in cattle, please contact Dr. Alan Bridges in the Department of Animal Sciences at Purdue University.